Good morning everyone, my name is Tom Honeyman. I'm the Software Program Manager at the Australian Research Data Commons and today I'll be talking about the plans for the adoption of the FAIR for RS principles by the ARDC. The Australian Research Data Commons, or ARDC, is a transformational initiative that enables Australian research community and industry access to nationally significant leading-edge data-intensive e-infrastructure, platforms, skills, and collections of high-quality data. We are a national digital research infrastructure facility operating under the National Collaborative Research Infrastructure Strategy, or NCRIS scheme. We conduct our activities under a number of themes grouped into portfolios, and these are uh, data and services, platforms and software, storage and compute, and people and policy. Increasingly though, we are turning to projects that capture larger cross-theme functionality, thematic research data commons. We have initial projects in HASS uh, and what we call translational data challenges. Uh, we have our first one around bushfires. There's one theme that cross-cuts all our activities, FAIR. And so in looking to adopt a set of principles that are more closely aligned with the application of FAIR uh, to, to software outputs, the FAIR for RS principles are a pretty natural fit. We've been puzzling for some time over how we might apply the FAIR principles to research software and are only too happy to align ourselves with community efforts to define them. I'm going to jump across the bubbles a bit to talk about the various ways that the FAIR for RS principles will either be adopted, advocated for or otherwise socialised in Australia with actions by the ARDC. Speaking of direct adoption, we don't currently develop a lot of research software within the ARDC, but we feel that in adopting the FAIR for RS principles, it is important to show that we are in fact going to the effort to, of making our own software FAIR. To this end, we'll be properly publishing our in-house software relating to our International Geo Sample Number, or IGSN minting service, to show our partners that it can be done and that we're not just asking others to do so. The software team in the ARDC, myself, and our software projects coordinator, uh, Paula Andrea Martinez, will be conducting sessions for ARDC staff, especially the broad array of external facing roles in the ARDC, to help them understand and interpret the FAIR for RS principles. We have a large number of staff who regularly communicate the FAIR principles as they relate to data and especially metadata in the form of consultancies. We have a large number of communities that we facilitate across our various themes within which there are people who create research software. So getting our own staff on board with the FAIR for RS principles is an important first step. Finally, we have policy that sets ex expectations about outputs from our co-investments. We will be looking to update our existing policy with reference to the FAIR for RS pr principles as specifically relevant when considering software outputs from our new co-investments. We can't retrospectively place conditions on our existing co-investment projects. We will, however, encourage and assist where there is interest. Underpinning a, lo uh, a lot of our adoption will be the development of materials to communicate the principles outwards and how to apply them in different contexts. We have already developed some complementary materials around software publishing practices and navigating software licensing. We also reference a lot of materials produced by organisations present at this workshop, but we need to go much further. The FAIR data self-assessment tool was a valuable tool of engagement for us uh, with a broad range of stakeholders, not just data owners, but managers, policy makers, support staff, uh, amongst others. We want to produce a complementary tool to target these stakeholders so that they can better understand what is being asked of software owners or developers. We feel that this is a change that must be visible not just to software authors, but also the people around them who perhaps do not understand the ins and outs of software development. We'll also be running webinars on the principles targeting specific communities facilitated by the ARDC 
and also uh, for the broader community. And we'll produce some general guidance on our website, which is very commonly adopted by partner research institutions verbatim, uh, leading to consistent messaging nationally. Our platforms program is a fairly obviously connected to our adoption of the FAIR for RS principles. We define a platform as a set of online services, often with associated integration or integrate and or orchestration functions and connections to specific data resources that enable researchers to collect or generate data, analyze those data uh, and produce outputs that can be made fair. To date, we have invested uh, 21.7 million Australian dollars in 26 platforms, uh, platform projects covering the breadth of our national science and research priorities and national research infrastructure roadmap focus areas. We don't see the platforms themselves uh, necessarily as targets of the FAIR for RS principles, but can see that within them there are components that might be targets for making FAIR, or that they create environments for software authors, and so expose an environment for encouraging FAIR for RS adoption by users or contributors. The platforms themselves are gateways through which we can reach specific national com research communities, the users of these platforms. We do this through the facilitation of a community of platforms developers. Once the FAIR for RS principles are formally published, we'll be targeting this community with webinars and assistance to adopt or further spread the principles. Some of these platforms are environments in which tools developers can develop custom workflow components to be used within the platform. ARDC co-investments are currently re required to make data outputs fair, and adopting the FAIR for RS principles will simply be encouraging those platforms to add guidance to drive adoption of the FAIR for RS principles by the tools developers operating within the communities they lead. Some of these platforms incorporate or are looking to incorporate JupyterHub, creating an environment for software authorship. We are looking at ways that appropriately placed guidance or functionality might encourage users of these platforms that are writing code in the form of computational notebooks to consider making these outputs fair. In some cases, the platform's developers have said they may be interested in applying the FAIR principles to their outputs. This community of platforms developers uh, will be looking to work through a set of FAIR principles for platforms in the coming year or two, and this will likely reference the FAIR for RS principles. But amongst the 26, there are one or two platforms that may be suitable to adopt the principles directly, and so we're investigating whether we can help them to do so, uh, hopefully leading to an exemplar adoption. One of our themes is in policy adoption, specifically related to data. We've been doing this for a great many years, especially through the work of one of our predecessor organisations from which we were formed, the Australian National Data Service, or ANS. Since the release of the FAIR principles and prior to that in messaging, what we called, uh, in messaging what we called the four transformations, we have been lobbying and making policy submissions to government, research and industry forums and organisations, pushing for the value of data. The recently revised scope of the OECD recommendation concerning access to research data from public funding expands now to include research software outputs. This is our current primary reference policy document for our advocacy work and our key messaging will be to pursue the uptake of fair data, fair software and of open access. Within the software program at the ARDC, we're working towards gathering the raw data to make the case for fair software. We have impact stories, metrics and other materials for data, but an early focus for the software program is to build out the national evidence for pursuing fair research software. Without this evidential base, it will be quite difficult to make the case. I will be talking more about how we intend to achieve this in session four tomorrow morning. And with that, I wanna say thank you for your time, happy to take questions, and uh, 
or if you want to ask me questions later uh, via email, my email address is on the screen.